Hello, lovelies. All right, just a couple of seconds, okay? And then we're going to get started with tonight's meals so that uh, we can curl up in the couch uh, by the window uh, in this very cold weather together. All right, hang on. <laughs> Hey, you. <laughs> Welcome to Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Yes, it's your girl, Carla Renee. I'm your host, and it's time to get cooking, good looking. So I hope you're ready. Uh, tonight, I was feeling a little bit snacky. Um, not much of an appetite lately, which is weird because I would think that when it gets colder, I would get more of an appetite. But lately, the opposite's been happening. Hey, Joyce. Hey, brother. Hey, everybody. Make sure you share this video right now. Let folks know that we eating good in the hood. Or we about to be anyway with some um, turkey taco subs. Yeah. So we'll see uh, how it turns out. What I've got is a pound of ground turkey meat. And I'm going to season it with my taco seasoning. Okay. Not a whole lot to this recipe at all. Like it really is just like a a cuddle up by the by the TV uh in this cold weather and and enjoy something. So that's what we're doing with tonight's recipe. I'm gonna um make sure I mix this thoroughly. The only thing I'm going to add, hey everybody, add to make sure you share right now mm -hmm. the website before i go any further the website is sugarpearlsonline.com youtube is sugar pearls and instagram is sugar pearls underscore online so share 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 like and um yeah i have a little more information coming up for you in just a little bit so to a pound of uh, ground turkey i added one package of taco seasoning to that, I'm going to add some, where where is it, breadcrumbs and an egg. So I've got some Italian-style breadcrumbs here, just about a palm full, um, because you really, you know, turkey is so soft when you're molding it and working with it. So you want something in there to hold it together, but I don't want a lot. So a palm full, probably that might be about half a cup. I don't know. I'll look back at the tape, but anyway, that's all you want for it, honey. All right. And an egg. That's it. This is also a good recipe if you are, um, you got kids home for the week, especially if they're older kids. If you want to make these meatballs, because they're going to be meatballs on our sub. Okay, if you want to make these ahead of time, you totally could. And that, and then that way, when the kids, while you're working, if you're able to work uh, away from the house while the kids are there, they can put together their own subs while you're gone. You know, so it's something you can do during, and I'm just working it in, making sure I get all that egg mixed in and making sure I've got the taco seasonings very well incorporated so as i move it through the meat i'm also moving it through my fingers so that i get it nice and blended okay and we're just gonna mold some balls out of those in a little bit let's get our stove top on i want to get them get a little browning action going on it so little browning action um by searing these and then we'll finish it off in the oven. Okay, so first we're gonna do the tacos. I have another glove somewhere, here we go. We're gonna do the tacos, uh, uh, the turkey, the meatballs. And then I want to, because this, this really is a shortcut recipe, y'all. Y'all, like, not a bougie recipe tonight. Mm -mm. You know, you know how many Zoom meetings I had this week? Too many to think about right now. So this is one of those things, like I'm just doing it for myself. 
um, and and I'm gonna enjoy it. A turkey meatball. The only thing I don't like about this recipe is um, the fact the bun that I'm using. So it's a it's one of my favorite buns, especially when I get a cheesesteak from um, Max's in Philly. So it's that bun. Okay. Uh, very good bun. I, I made some uh, homemade chili and garlic oil. It's got chili, garlic, um, a little bay leaf in it. But well, honey, when I tell you this stuff was liquid gold, put it on everything. Everything. I'm 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 blending oils over here. Yes. Okay. So that is a little chilly. Okay. So let's get that. Get the pan coated with the oil and start forming our meatballs. While we do that, you can come on. You can tell everybody uh, about the show and that you're here and you want them to be here too. Uh. -uh. So go ahead and share right now. Website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. And Instagram is sugarpearls underscore online. Okay, so I've got this on a medium high heat. It's still getting hot. It didn't even sizzle up just now. And I'm making the meatballs a little bigger than golf size because this turkey is going to, you know, shrink up quite a bit. So... Uh, what I'm really trying to do now is just get like a sear. I'll do like three meatballs on a sub. By the way, this will be my snack for tomorrow too. This would have been a good Super Bowl snack too. So it's a it's a turkey taco on a sub. That's it. That's it. And yes, there are shortcuts, but if you make it at home, it's homemade. So don't laugh at the little shortcuts. All right. Um, family, when I tell you to make it to a Friday night with you is amazing. Amazing. Everyone that I got a chance to talk with, I've tried to like be so grateful um because our family down there in texas is having a very difficult time uh so please y'all prayers up for texas um i was listening to a story on the npr um not to be morbid or anything like that but you know, because they've been talking about, you know, 30, 40 degrees below zero there in Texas, there was, um, there was a story about a little boy who, um, went to, I guess, went to lay down, you know, during the storm, Texas youth, and, um, his parents weren't able to w wake him up because of the hypothermia um so people are literally losing their lives um to this storm so um people in texas uh south south mid middle of the country and everywhere else in between my prayers are with you i on yes where a couple they just had a, a little girl and the baby was in Nick U for a couple months so they had to leave <laughs> their home to go I think to Florida with relatives because it was just you know too cold so short lesson and all that y'all gratitude gratitude i went to turn on my heat today and it was on as a matter of fact it was too hot so ain't that a blessing Show up in. okay so we're gonna get a little browning action on I'm, i can show you what's happening mm -hmm. <laughs> there
there you go all right so we want something like that okay can you see that one like that one okay now don't worry um about you know oh it's not cooked all the way because it's it's going to go in the oven for a smidge so we're going to cook it as much as possible on the outside and make sure we um give it enough heat so that when it goes into the oven it's it's still continuing to cook in the middle okay so i'm going to flip those so this is what you have now okay so your turkey meatballs your turkey taco meatballs are getting some browning action that's good i'm gonna stick this right here now i've got some things that i want to go on my taco of course i want to have it chock full of veggies so when i take these out um i'm gonna add some i had some peppers and onions and garlic in a bag so i just like fine chopped them up i'm gonna put that in there because it's also gonna go like on top of my uh so okay so i got that i'm gonna go ahead and and of course lettuce okay a nice cool lettuce now uh your salsa because we are using salsa but i'm i didn't make it i, I didn't <laughs> i just didn't okay i'm gonna put this down here so i'll get it mixed up with the with what i have to cook so we're gonna use the sauce after we get this out um we're going going to finish cooking the turkey in the salsa in the oven okay so by the time you get it out and put it on your sub it's going to be nice and warm but you'll have all your taco toppings put whatever you want on it um avocado after you've done all that hey boo i have not seen the you know hang on where my, my glasses are not around, but I, I can't see the comments very well. They're extra small. I'm, I'm trying a platform, trying something new, and I don't know um, how to enlarge it, but I can see who's on here. Hey, Pat. Hey, Jackie. Hi, sis. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Detrick. Hey, <laughs> Mr. D. Nice. What are you doing here? That you were doing homecoming tonight guys thank you so much for being here so um my college stillman college um is having a virtual homecoming and um many of you are, are probably experiencing things like that especially during covid so i just thought that was so smart and so wonderful for them to make sure that you know connections were uh, maintained so they put together and Detrick is a part of that this um virtual homecoming just this is a way to stay connected so i wasn't on it today i i had two zooms uh today one and i, I i'm up at 4 30 so i was ready for them the second one ran a little bit long and uh, I wasn't able to enjoy homecoming festivities on online. But I'm gonna go back and watch the replay and I got my turkey subs to keep me comfortable. What? Holler, yes. Okay, so we got that, the turkey, I'm gonna, look at that. Oh, this is good. Okay, so turkey meatballs, I'm gonna, give that an, another little sitting down in there and then we're going to put our veggies in and then we'll put our salsa in and then we'll shove it in the oven for about 12 minutes to make sure that we've got the inside of these turkey meatballs cooked they got a beautiful color on the outside and i know i know i know honey okay so little color on on the turkey meatballs and it'll go in our nice soft delicious 
bun in just a bit. So I'm just turning them on their sides now to make sure I get color on all sides. Um, going in there. I'm not a huge fan of turkey meat, but I really am. Um, I definitely was not going to do hamburger because of the red meat that I had last week. So it was like, eh, do the right thing, girl. I had some frozen turkey in the fridge and that made my decision for me. I did not want to go away from my house today. So I didn't. <laughs> I did not. Okay, those are looking good. Let's get a uh, um Let's go ahead and get these on a little plate. Hey, you, are you sharing the video? Share. Share the video right now. Um, Every Friday, I'm here pretty much, unless I tell you otherwise. But the uh, website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. And Instagram is sugarpearls underscore online. All right. So I've got veggies that I'm just going to shove in. I'm going to just cook them all because I'm probably going to eat them anyway, even though I'm not going to put them all on the stuff. Um, I'm pretty good about eating veggies. So they'll get eaten even if I throw them with um, some home fries or something in the morning for breakfast. Little taco season on that. Taco, taco, taco. Okay. Could have done this for Taco Day, but next time all right so get this saute i'm adding just a little more of my homemade chili and garlic oil it's got red chili peppers it's got a little um bay leaf in there and some roasted garlic that i did on my own and i like when pieces of the chili fall out and land in my food is so good and flavorful even if i don't eat the, the chili but it, it gives just another dimension of flavor i'm telling you season your oils honey or let me do it for you all righty sauteing and once we get that a little softened because it's, it's also going in the oven uh we'll put our salsa on there now we, I got a, a medium, so it's a little bit of heat, but not too much. Oh, shoot. Speaking of heat, because I, I want a little bit of heat. So I found some chilies. All right. And these are like real and they're spicy. Um, I got them out of the Hispanic section. So I'm just going to put some of it in there. That way I'll have just a little kick. And my salsa doesn't taste just like it came out the can. What? Who knows? Now, if you got kids eating this, you don't want to, you know, because they don't want to do the heat, then you don't have to. So I put three big peppers in there. And now we're going to do the, um, put the salsa in there in just a little bit. Okay. Let me get a. Uh, that's spicy. Oh, goodness. Hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, Joe. Hey, Devon. Hey, honey. This is a, it's, it's an easy snack, you know. Um, it's like one of those Friday night go to. So if you want a meatball sub, but, you know, want to lighten it up a little bit, do it with the ground turkey. The taco seasoning. Okay, let's put that back in there, all right? You see what's happening? Okay. So that's soft enough. Okay, now. There we go. And put that salsa on there. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, 
Yes, let's get it in the oven, sugar, right now. It's already on, 350. Okay? Put it in there. Let it work. We're going to give that about 10, 12 minutes. And then we're going to come over here with me for a second. got to wipe this down. Then we are going to um, dive in. I'm going to find me a really good movie. Um, I'm thinking I might buy HBO Max for the month so I can watch the new Denzel movie. What's it called? The Little Things. So I want to see that. Uh, Judas and the Messiah also. So that, that's a couple of things I'm, I'm looking out for. All right. Judas and the Messiah. Um, and the little thing. And I, I love Jared Leto too. So I'm really excited to see that. And Rami Malek. Yeah, I guess I'm just a fan. I'm ready. Okay, so I need a towel. Yeah, I'm just so glad you're here. I hope you've had a um a good week. Uh, it's been kind of busy on this end. I tell you what, we're working remotely, but you can't tell. You can't tell because they're getting more work out of me than ever, honey. Oh gosh, they're they they don't work. I woke up this morning and my finger. This finger right here, I'm not gonna do the bird thing, but this finger right here, you know the one I'm talking about? It's like it's got gout in it or something. It is so sore. I tried to crack it and everything, and it's just hurting. And I'm pretty sure, because I can't type, um, I'm pretty sure that it came um, from being on the computer, typing notes and stuff. And I guess <laughs> my real question is, uh, can I get work with comp? Can, if, if, if my finger don't like, I can't even bend like that top joint. It's the top joint. I can't even. Can, can I get some compensation for that finger? Probably not. But I tell you what, I'm feeling it. I don't know if it's 46 or, or just the job but if i can get work with comp then it'll be the job no i'm not gonna do that <laughs> okay so i got a sheet pan here we're gonna put our bun let's go ahead i'm gonna stick that right there okay now i can sit you back down hey boo um thanks for watching share the video let folks know that every friday night we are right here that's right you me, food, we're here. All right, so I got some good buns here, child. Real good bun. And y'all know I don't do bread. So we could do this, you know, with like a soft, thin, maybe tortilla or something or fajita bread or something. Okay, see, it's already split. And I got a short one. I didn't get the full size one. I got the short buns of the favorite bun that i like and it's already cut awesome i feel better already okay you know i'm not gonna eat two tonight but you know i gotta take a picture with one i didn't bite into okay all right uh the website is sugarprosonline.com mm -hmm. Made some updates to the website too, so be sure and go check it out. It's uh, it's coming along, it's looking good. Uh, let me know what you think about it. All right, thanks to those of you that have checked out and that have subscribed to keep up with any of the latest news from the Sugar Pearls. Oh, oh, that's good. And this eye that I use is still kind of warm, so it'll keep my bread soft. Ooh, yeah, let's, let's put it not on direct heat, but to the side, like so. Oh, this is going to be good. All right, let's get a little bit of a drink, and then we're going to, so with this recipe also, I found some, you can use whatever cheese you want or not, um, the vegan cheese, whatever, but I found like an organic 
um, part skim milk mots. So I got that. I'll top it with that. Give it a little treatment in the oven so that it's melty and oozy and goozy and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's going to be awesome. All right. So we got that. We'll add in just a little bit. All right. Lettuce is ready. Just get you some shredded lettuce. I just shredded up some romaine. I like romaine, so it worked. And I'm going to put the rest of this taco meat because I might make a little bit of pasta and then use the taco meat. But that's not for now. Right now, we're going to go ahead and just put the rest because I think the number of meatballs that I made tonight is that's going to carry me through the weekend, honey. Me and whatever I land on TV with. Okay. All right, let's put the rest of this turkey in the bag. Clean as you go, honey. It makes it easier. All right. And into the fridge. We'll find another use for this later. Mm. Hey, you. <laughs> yes, it's been a doozy, oozy, oozy. Um, I'm just hoping that help comes to the people who need it the most the fastest, like with all things, especially COVID and the jobs that were lost and just uh, people are having a hard time, y'all, are having a hard time and there before the grace of God go I. Remember that, remember that, remember to, to, have gratitude in all things. Oh, um, even the little detours, they're important. They're necessary. Hmm. Lots of reflection this week, lots of, um, you know, and, and because we're working from home now, it's just like, now you've got more time. I don't know. Maybe you don't. Maybe some people are just like, really working to the max, but I'm much more um, intentional about making time for myself, um, especially since we've not been at work. So it's like, yeah, I owe it to myself to be good to myself, to take time out for myself, to make sure that my space is everything that I needed to be in order to function at the highest level for, yes, work, but really for me first. So um, that's been nice. That's been nice. I don't have guilt anymore about it. Before it was like, ah, it, when you focus on yourself, it's like, oh, but there's so much more to do and so many other people. Yeah, but you're important too. So it's just fine to take that time to reflect. Make sure you do it. Uh, okay, so I want to ask you guys a question. Serious question. We got a few minutes while um, we wait on the turkey to um, finish in the oven. All right. Come closer. Y'all going to get the vaccine when it come out? Hmm? What y'all going to do? Let me see what y'all saying. Hey, boo. <laughs> y'all getting the vaccine? Okay, I'm going to tell you a funny story. So, <laughs> Best just sent me a link for the COVID vaccine because apparently they had opened it up for teachers. Okay, well, 
Child, it was supposed to be at the Coliseum. 32 minutes later, after I registered to get my first dose, they emailed me back to tell me we've had to cancel your appointments. They had to cancel all the appointments, y'all, because they, um, the date the teachers are supposed to be able to start getting them does not start tomorrow because tomorrow was when I was going to get it. Who said that? Um, uh, yeah. uh, that would be an answer. Oh, no. Okay. No. Uh, what's buzzing? Hey, Jill. <laughs> what's buzzing, cousin? Oh, I'm so glad that you enjoyed the sweet potato nadines, honey. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Arlinda. I'm so glad she enjoyed them, Tommy. Yes. Um. So, no. So, um. and I'm going to get it. You know, I have my own reasons for getting it. People that are not going to get it have their own reasons. So, they... There's no judgment for me whatsoever if you're going to get it or not. I'm getting it. Um, I have parents that are older. I want to be able to go home and, and make sure things are in order with them and all of that. They've even gotten their first vaccine already, too. So uh, and no, no hiccups, no side effects or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm absolutely going to get it but i understand people's hesitation you know um hey you should yeah it, every man must choose choose their own path honey so yeah do do what makes you and your comfortable your family comfortable right now um for me and mine we're i'm gonna go ahead and and get it done Okay, so a couple more minutes going in on that. Who else said? <laughs> Joyce is like, mm -mm, no, no, no. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing any comments. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't always keep up with them. But um, I do appreciate you tuning in and being here. <laughs> Was that an exclamation point? <laughs> yeah, thanks for um for continuing to support Sugar Pearls and tell everybody um about the show. No, there's no elaborate fancy meal tonight. We are simply doing turkey taco subs. And I know that sounds like a couple of you know, good bits of junk food in one. And it is. Um, so we're making turkey meatballs. Um, we put it inside a salsa. Um, and we add it to that salsa with some chilies, some other sweet peppers, onions, garlic, things like that. And then um, when it's done in the oven, we're going to take it out. We're going to stuff our bun and top it with some cheese, melt the cheese off, and um, have some ooey gooey bubbling delicious. Okay, so stay tuned. We about to smash in just a little bit, honey. Okay, okay. Camille, hi baby. <laughs> yeah, if you're comfortable, go ahead and get it. Definitely. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, yeah, if you're comfortable, man. I don't know. Um, and I don't know what things are going to look like down the line as far as like traveling. You know, there's still a couple of places that I, I would like to travel. I want to go back to New Orleans and um, I got to see Chef Rami again and, and visit all this great stuff that he started um, um, been building up, I should say, Um down there uh in new orleans so i want to get back there i want to go to some other places and i don't know if having the shot is going to be a like a travel prerequisite so i'm like let me just go ahead and make sure that i'm good 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 on all fronts so and still that's no excuse for not doing the bare minimum of wearing a mask okay so that will continue um 
turkey meat is looking good. I see the juices oozing out of it. It's going to be ready in just a minute. Okay. So let's go ahead. Oh, this wine is so good. And so I'm going to move it back so you can see what's happening. And here. I got some good music. I'm just um gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a great night. Hey, I can take it off now. Oh, the stove is ready. Man, hi. <laughs> oh, yay! I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm going to give it a little poke. Yes. Oh, gosh, yes. Yes. Let me let you see what's happening. I can actually take you down there with me. So come on. Let's take a look. Aha. All right. So that's what we got. You got your meatballs for your toppings and... All of that good stuff right and those chilies are the chilies that i had in my my homemade oil it's gonna add to the flavor and give it another layer of smokiness then i got those um peppers in there that i cut up and you just gonna it's just and it's not gonna be hot but it is gonna have like just a hint of back of your tongue smoke to it so that's what we want. All right. Let's pull that out. And I think for my sub, I'm just going to put two on it. So let's build. Let's build. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. That there. So I don't, so I remember that it's hot. Do stuff like that, y'all. Okay, let's get a couple small ones in there. Oh, yeah. I just want to show you the inside. Perfectly cooked all the way through. Okay? So about 10, 12 minutes in the oven, you're good to go. Okay? So into... Do another small one like this. Oh, yeah, two is plenty. <laughs> Two is plenty. Okay, and let's do one here and one there. Okay, so we've got those, and now I'm gonna get some of that. Oh, before I do that, Ugh. okay. So you got these beautiful, delicious subs right here. Just go ahead and scoop that salsa on there. This is a fun meal. It's a fun Friday meal. It definitely, the kids will love it. You don't know if you're eating a taco or a sub. All you know is it's good. Let's load it up with some... Oops. Just load it up. We just want a nice little smattering melted on there. And it's quick. It's so quick. Let's get it in the oven. One last go round. Oh, yeah. Just for a second. We just want to melt that cheese so that it's ooey gooey delicious. We're gonna top it with a little bit of that shredded lettuce when it comes out. And we're gonna be eating in about three minutes, long enough for it to cool down and put it in my mouth, okay? All right. I'm telling you, quick, easy. Shortcuts. Cause when you had 511 Zoom calls this week, you ain't got time. It's coming. All right. So give that a good melting. This is just 
Y'all, we can eat this with some pasta. I don't know. Let me taste the salsa. Just taste it. We added some peppers and stuff of our own. So. And those. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, it got a little kick, boo. She got a little kick. Mm. 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 That's good. Almost ready. <laughs> All right, move this out the way. Concept. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and ta da. Oh. Turkey taco sauce. Load it up, baby. Just load it up. Just load it up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Of course I am. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. Yes. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Add as little or as much of that jazzed up salsa as you want. Let's bite in. God, thank you for the food. Thank you for allowing my friends to be here with me and spend some time for this shortcut fun Friday meal, a turkey taco sub. Okay, here we go. Get this one. Mm. Mm. Oh, snap. It tastes like a taco. <laughs> it really tastes like a taco. <laughs> you can put your jalapenos or whatever, but this, this is a taco. Make it, give yourself a break a Friday night. Cook those meatballs, simmer it in that sauce ahead of time, put it on some buns, honey, and call it a Friday night. It is done, okay? I'm gonna continue to have some fun. And um, I'm glad you stopped by. Make sure you tell people about the show. Share the video right now, and hopefully, we'll be seeing each other again next week. I love you, and I hope you love me back. Bye.